usability and productivity and streamlined onboarding of new contributors. And that last one is highly related to our student programs. Um, because we, KDE as a community has always um, been very much about mentoring people, teaching them how to um, write good code, how to contribute to an open source project. And we have programs who help with that. What do we have? Um, we have Season of KDE, um, Google Summer of Code, and Google Code In. We've also taken part in outreach uh, ones, but currently not, so um, we left them out. Google Summer of Code. Um, it's a program by Google, as the name says, <laughs> um, that's run to um, get university students uh, a summer job, basically, uh, to work on open source software, and it's really great. Um, we have participated since 2005, uh, steadily, and it's always been a meaningful contribution to KE because it um, got us to think about, okay, what can people actually do in our projects? Um, how can they do it? What kind of things do we need to improve in terms of documentation? Um, explaining what we do and so on. Um, <coughs> and uh, Google is nice enough to pay those students um, for us so they can work on our software for a summer. There are a few important things in uh, Google Summer of Code. The most important um, one is probably the community bonding period at the beginning where they really get to know um, the people in their team in their, in their sub project and the larger community. Um, there are regular evaluations to really help the students stay on track with their project and adjust it if needed. Um, and it is um, very much focused on code and development work, so not um, marketing, documentation, translations, and, and these things. The next program we take part in is Google Coding, which is a similar program but for younger um, high school students mostly. Um, also hosted by Google in the other half of the year. And it's, it's not paid, um, it's more a contest where people get points and um, rewards for the tasks they, they have done. It's much more bite-sized tasks compared to Google Summer of Code, which is a bigger thing um, that you get to work on. And it's a lot more students <laughs> that um, the, the mentors support as part of this program. Um, and it's always a busy time, <laughs> um, but it's also a lot of fun to interact with the younger kids and get them excited about uh, our software. Um, last year we did, uh, we decided not to participate because everyone was kind of... Um, tired. Okay. <laughs> tired is <laughs> the right word, probably. Um, but we hope we can um, participate again in the next one with uh, much more energy and um, support the, um, the students that are coming in through that. Um, and for, for the kids, the really 
exciting thing um, is probably the grand prize, um, which is getting to go to Google and visit the campus and get to know other students who worked on other uh, projects as part of Google Coding and so on. Um, and meet their mentor, who also gets to go to um, the grand prize trip. Um, <coughs> Then we have Season of KDE, which is our own um, program that we run, because we have seen that there was a lot of enthusiasm around Google Summer of Code, but there were people who um, didn't really fit into the criteria for Google Summer of Code, either because they weren't university students, or because they didn't want to do development work, or because Google Summer of Code's timeline didn't fit them, or any number of other reasons why they couldn't be a part of Google Summer of Code, but still wanted this structured program of contributing to, um, to a free software project. So we host this. Um, it's much more relaxed and less demanding and competitive than uh, Google Summer of Code is. Um, there's also an evaluation peri uh, period at the end. And we send them a t-shirt and some stickers and a nice card uh, as a thank you for their um, for their time spent on KDE and a certificate to uh, say that they successfully completed their, their project, which they can use, for example, for a university application or similar when they want to. Um, and it is open to more kinds of contributions, so not just code, but also code. All right, and currently it's mostly the three of us, to be honest, mostly two of them. <laughs> Um, doing the work on running these programs, and if uh, one of you wants to join us and help us out, that would be super appreciated, and it's a very nice and rewarding thing to see um, all these people coming to our community and uh, getting their first taste of um, contributing to, to KDE's software. All right, and with that, we are open for, for questions. Maybe I have a question first. Who has taken part in any of our programs? Yeah! Give yourself a hand. Awesome. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in, including including <laughs> Did you ever do a, a season of KDE? Uh, yes, I did. Season of KDE was part four. I mean, I can do a season of KDE. All right, so you had a question. No. Nope. You also took part. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Any more questions? Okay. Uh, I have a slow voice. Okay, I will try to repeat the questions. But my question is do we have like, data of how many students we have tried to this each year? And how, long, how many of them like, stick around from the end of the program? So the question is do we know how many people stick around from that? Do we have data and so on? Um, we do have some data. Um, the success quote isn't super high, but that is to be expected, I would say, um, to a degree. And um, we do have enough success cases <laughs> um, to make it work all while. Um, do you want to add to that? I would say that if you ask any uh, team that has participated, they know very well how valuable it is. It is valuable for the mentors because there's nothing like teaching somebody else to help you figure out what you know and what you don't know. <laughs> and it also helps you clarify things. And it probably makes your own code better. Um, also, we're figuring, we're always trying to figure out how to onboard the students better how to include them in the community more. Uh, the fact that we didn't do GCI last year, uh, Google Code in, we usually call it GCI. Uh, we wanted the students from previous years to be mentors because they're closer in age to the students. So the fact that we didn't do it last year was a, a loss for us in that we couldn't recruit those students to be part of that. But now is the time, if you're in a team that has any sort of short tasks that can be done in a day or two, 
to start collecting those somewhere, not just in your head, but on a wiki or some sort of shared document or even just an email to your team mailing list to get discussion started because now is the time to start collecting those ideas. Any more questions? One of our most successful Google uh, or summer of KDE uh, people was not a student, had been a student for many years and created the first CI system for KDE. So that has been superseded, but uh, she got the ball rolling and, uh, and was, she was just overjoyed that she could do that at not being enrolled as a student. So it is open to anybody who needs mentoring. If we can find a mentor for the project, we'll do it. So just for friends, uh, when we want to participate in the we ask them to do two things, what they want to do, and who is going to be like, to learn some things for the mentors. Uh, if there is, so to speak, there is just no If you like administration, join us. You too can send nagging e emails.